Hey everybody, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I'm Megan Alexander. So excited to continue talking to you about my new show, Small Town Christmas on Up TV. Thank you for joining us once again. It's great to chat and hear from all of you. We appreciate you tuning in. So much to be thankful for this Christmas season. And for me personally, it is just an honor and the thrill of a lifetime to put together this show for all of you. As many of you know, I've been a fan of Christmas my whole life. I remember when I was five years old and my parents took me to see The Nutcracker and I fell in love with that music, some of the most beautiful music ever created, The Nutcracker Suite. And now as a mother of three small children, for me and my family, uh, we just love all that Christmas is. And a couple of years ago, one of our favorite things to do during the holidays is to travel. I love to see what different small towns do. What's their spin on the local Christmas parade or the tree lighting or what churches do this on their in their Christmas Eve service? And I said, it would be so neat to create a holiday travel show that brings the festivities of these small towns that are the heartbeat of America to everyone around the world. And Up TV believed in the project and partnered with me. And we are in the midst of bringing you four episodes of Small Town Christmas. Uh, it's been a pleasure to honor Branson, Missouri, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Natchitoches, Louisiana, and Somerville, South Carolina. So here's what's coming up next on Small Town Christmas. On the next Small Town Christmas. I feel official. Get ready to party in the City of Lights. Celebrate the holidays Cajun style. Most people are used to eating fried turkey at Christmas time, but down here in Natchitoches, it's alligator. Great food. They look delicious. Great fireworks. Great fun. Great music. On the next Small Town Christmas. Christmas! Sunday at 9 on UP TV. Happy holidays indeed, everybody, and a very Merry Christmas, having so much fun with you all. And I have such a big treat today. Christmas has come early. That is how I feel. I am so honored to have with me as my special guest. You know him as the lead singer of Matchbox 20 and hits like Bent and If You're Gone, plus the number two Billboard song of all time, Smooth, his collaboration with Santana. He's a Grammy Award winning singer songwriter, and he has a brand new Christmas album out called Something About Christmas Time and a Christmas song that I fell in love with the minute I heard it. Guess what it's called? Small Town Christmas. Everybody, it is my pleasure to welcome Rob Thomas. Hey, Rob, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. How you doing, Megan? I am doing so great. Thrilled to welcome you. Uh, the minute I heard this song, Small Town Christmas, Rob, it was one of those moments where I sat in my car and it was on repeat. And I just sat there for 20 minutes and listened to it over and over and over again. Well, you must have felt the way that I felt when I heard about your show, because, you know, I because the, the words Small Town Christmas have been ringing in my head since June. And I imagine for you as well. It's just that phrase has been coming up uh, quite a bit, I imagine, in your life. So when I when I heard it, it felt like it felt like a friend that I had just met a new friend. Yes. I felt exactly the same way, Rob, and I'm dying to hear all about the song, your vision for it, you wrote it, and how that all came about. So take us back, the beginning of this journey for you. How did the song come about? Christmas in a small town. Well, the song, you know, it's funny. So the song, I myself am originally from a, from a small town in South Carolina. That's where I, where, I, where I grew up, and I first cut my teeth on Christmas, right? And uh, years later, after traveling around the world and getting to see Christmas from a bunch of different vantage points, I moved up here to, to Bedford, New York, which it's a small town just outside of the city. It's like a Christmas postcard. When it snows, it, it looks like every postcard you've ever seen. It's beautiful, just rolling hills and farm country up here. And so it kind of like everything here is a very neighborhood small town vibe. And I, uh, I had two songwriter friends of mine, a guy named Aaron Asetta and a guy named Shep Goodman. And they're both, they live right around the corner from me up here in Bedford. And so we started writing this song about, about how good it feels after all the traveling and all the things that, that we're lucky enough to do when we get back home to that tight community and that small town feel, how that makes us feel and how the holidays kind of just brighten up that time. Oh, yeah. And the process for writing it, did it come out pretty quickly based on what you just shared? Yeah, it really did. I think once, once I knew it, it's kind of like once you know what you're writing about, then the, it, the rest of it is really, really easy. I think the hardest thing about writing anything, honestly, is, is a blank page because it could be anything. And then once I go Christmas in a small town, then it's like, oh, I know what I'm writing about immediately, you know, because because that makes me think about being young and then wanting to be young. And we got all those memories over the years. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think it kind of I think that part the, the, the melody and the lyric just kind of comes out pretty quickly. 
Yeah. And let's talk about the lyrics too, because as I, as I listen to them, every single time you listen to this song, you pick up on something new and a new memory for me has been triggered. But one of them that I love is cutting down the tree on Mount Holly road. So Rob, for me, we film uh, episode four in Somerville, South Carolina, and there is actually a Christmas tree lot on mistletoe lane. There really is oh, a that's awesome. lane where this Christmas tree lot is. So is there really a Mount Holly road? There really is. It's, it's one of those places where you cut down your own tree uh, down uh, here in Bedford. Uh, I was turned on to it by my friends because my friends are natives. I've lived here for about um, in Bedford for about 15 years and in Westchester for almost 20. Um, but but there was, you know, I, I did get some of the inside tips when I first moved here from the from the locals, which I am now one of. There you go. So I, I'm taking it real Christmas tree for you in your house. Oh, two real Christmas trees. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we have to have the memory tree, which is the tree that's in the living room that has all the stuff that, and the stuff that we've acquired either from our childhood or through our travels for my wife and I over the last 23 years. And then we have uh, here behind me is, is there next to me is the, is the red and gold tree. This is the one that has a certain aesthetic because we have a friend that bought us a whole bunch of beautiful hand blown red ornaments. And we were like, OK, well, now we have to have another tree. Of course you do. Yes. Yeah, of oh, course. Like I we weren't looking for a reason to do it anyway. That's right. Take a, a couple more. We have uh, fake and real, more fake than real. And we put the real on the back patio because I have a two-year-old and a six-year-old and pine needles everywhere. It gets a little messy. So we keep well, yeah, and a two-year-old, that tree is going to come down. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we keep it outside. So cleaning up is a little bit easier. But back to the lyrics, the other lyric that I just yell out with my boys in the car, Rob, is driving down the long roads, anything is possible. And that is Christmas for me. Christmas is a time when we go back to what it's like when we're a kid, when we're dreaming big and we really do think anything is possible and magic is still in the air. Um, I'm curious for your take on that line, because that to me, that is the essence of Christmas, that all of a sudden our grumpiness during other times of the year goes away and people are just in a better mood during the holidays and really believe that maybe magic is possible. Yeah, I think so. Meg. I, you know, I also think that the line after that, we all need some comfort right now. I think those two kind of came together. Anything is possible and we all need some comfort right now. And maybe that hope that that comfort's possible, right? And mm -hmm. uh, in the last couple of years of, of just uncertainty and a little bit of fear that people have had, just a little bit of comfort, that's what Christmas brings every year. And I think maybe this year more than most years. And so I think it was kind of great that you, you know, I imagine knowing you and knowing your history with, with, with your family and faith, that this was an idea that you came with to Up TV as opposed to the other way around, am I wrong? That's right. This idea came a couple of years ago. I told my husband I would love to do a holiday travel show. We love traveling to small towns. I love bringing my kids and my parents and seeing what they do. And I, especially through COVID, you know, Rob, I really longed for that. Like so many of us did. We, we felt isolated. We felt alone. And um, I wanted to think beyond myself. I wanted to think about others and, you know, I was drawn to movies that, that were about small towns and all these Christmas movies where people take care of each other. And so, yeah, I approached up and I said, I think there's an appetite for this. I think people would really enjoy this content. And as a mother, I want positive content I can watch with my kids. And Up said, yes, let's do it. Uh, and so the partnership came together, um, much like your song. The time was right. Were you, um, I, don't, I, I understand that this is not a competition show. So I'm to put that out there right at the very, very beginning. Yeah. But let's say not, I don't want to say which one was the most Christmas here, which one was the best Christmas, but which place really surprised you? when you went to it as, as far as, you know, because I, I, when I watch your show and watch the promos for the show, it is like, it, it seems like a film, right? Like sometimes you see films about these Christmas towns and these towns that take Christmas so seriously all year round. And you're like, well, these places don't really exist, but you went and found them. They really do exist. Yeah, yeah, they absolutely do. And Rob, the coolest, so many parts of the journey were awesome, but the coolest moment was picking up the phone for the first time. Once we narrowed it down to the cities and that ended up being logistics, we needed towns that celebrated early in November so we could flip the episodes quickly and get them on air in right. December and turn them within a couple of weeks. Um, but making that first phone call in Branson, in Bethlehem, in Natchitoches, in Somerville, I think that could even be a show is the behind the scenes because I picked up the phone and I'd, I'd call somebody either at the mayor's office or somehow connected to tourism and their face, you know, I imagine on the other line lit up and they said, oh, you have to call this lady at this dessert shop. And then you're going to need to call Anne, who's known as Miss Christmas in Branson. It was so easy to start to put it together. 
And I was deeply inspired by how all these local businesses in these towns look out for each other and collaborate and think of each other. Um, coming off of COVID, you know, they really want to help and support each other. And they were thrilled to get the exposure. And that just deeply inspired me was the selflessness that I found in these small towns. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just that the, the Christmas spirit is alive and well in these small towns across the country. Yeah, and you know, and these small towns are all over the country, right? Like we, we tend to kind of think about a certain kind of a rural thing, but these small towns are just outside of big cities. These small towns are, are on the West Coast and they're on the East Coast, you know, and then you see as, 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 as big as this continent is and as divided as sometimes people seem by their regions, you find out how, how similar everybody really is, I imagine. Absolutely. And I will say that, for example, in Somerville, South Carolina, they told me we were there for the tree lighting and they told me that they had the largest number, the largest crowd that they've ever had because people wanted to come experience a small town. In terms of surprises, Rob, you did ask me what surprised you the most. Um, Natchitoches, Louisiana, there are alligators in that episode. Alligators are connected to their Christmas traditions. Who knew? So Christmas wanted, gators. Yeah, Christmas gators pulse Papa Noel's sleigh instead of reindeer. It's alligators that pulled the sleigh through the through the river. You got to watch the episode to see. That one just surprised me. We've all heard of the night before Christmas, but they read the Cajun night before Christmas. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. So that one surprised me. And well, out there Santa Claus, you'd be coming down the chimney, I swear. <laughs> that's exactly this. That's exactly the voice of Papa Noel. He read the story to all of the kids in Louisiana. And it's just a hoot. It's so cool. But the other thing I think is in the churches, you know, churches in America used to be the center of so much activity beyond the holidays, you know, all year round. But in our small towns, they still are. I mean, for example, in our Bethlehem, Pennsylvania episode, volunteers, they, they volunteer to be in the church basement and make these candles for the Christmas Eve service. They hand make the candles and they've done it for years and years and years just because it's what they do. And it's what maybe their father did and their mother did or their grandparents. It's really cool to see the traditions. Yeah, I imagine. Out. You know, there's, there's so much more than just the lights, right? Like sometimes you, you kind of realize that sometimes the whole, the whole idea of the Christmas lights is just so it can shine into, into the true meaning of everything that's going on, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and with your song, once you started performing it, I bet you started getting comments from people that the song was taking them down memory lane. Talk about the response you've gotten. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it felt really kind of amazing. You know, like it took me 20 five years right to come up with it to write a Christmas album in it because I wanted I wanted to be something that I thought would connect with me as a song and not just as a Christmas song if that makes sense you know those are my favorite Christmas songs are the ones that that I want to sneak a peek and listen to all year long yeah. um, so this was a song about something that, that was really really close to me and felt special to me and it just happened to also be a Christmas uh, because I, I think that there's a feeling that, that in, in these small communities that exist all year long. And even though it is highlighted at Christmas and it seems a little more special, a little more bright, it is there all the time. That community is always there and they are there for each other. And, you know, and we have our, our local places and we support our local businesses. And I think that stays important all year long. Absolutely. We're talking with Rob Thomas about his new Christmas album, something about Christmas time and specifically the song Small Town Christmas, which is so good. But on this Christmas album, Rob, you also do some duets with Brad Paisley, yes. with B.B. Winans. I love the Winans family. Debbie Winans is a dear, dear friend of mine, his little sister. Um, talk about some of those collaborations. Well, you know, we were in, we were basically in lockdown. So this had to, this could not be one of those uh, try and get your label to call other people's agents or stuff like that. This, this had to be a pick up your phone and call the people that you know, you know, and you know that they're not busy right now either and they'll probably help you out. So, you know, I knew that uh, I knew that Ingrid, we had met and she was she is a Christmas fanatic and she had just put out a Christmas album. Um, Brad Paisley is a friend. And when I wrote this song, Santa Don't Come Here Anymore, it was such a country kind of banger that I knew that he had to play guitar on it and sing on it. B.B. Uh, Winans has been one of my dearest friends for well, he sang at our wedding. So we've known him for at least 23 years. Um, and we didn't even ask him to, by the way. That's, that's the kind of guy that B.B. is. We just invited him because we didn't want to take advantage of him. But he showed up with a tape. And he's like, well, there's no way I'm not going to sing. And then he just came and he just stole the whole wedding. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, Abby Anderson, who's an amazing, still up and coming country singer, who I think is really going to have a big year this year. Um, I think it really, you know, having, if you look inside the album, all the artwork is, is, is personal photos of my wife and I and our family and our Christmas. And I think that having the special guest on this be people that were personal to me added, added another layer to it. You know, everything about this record felt very, very personal. And that's also true with your music video, also personal as well. Yeah, we, you know, we had done a, a live video and it just didn't feel like a video. And it was my wife's idea. My wife kind of 
was the curator of everything in this, you know, helping me pick the right songs, helping me pick the right covers, helping me pick all the artwork. She took a lot of the pictures for the artwork. Um, and she said, you know, this doesn't feel like a video yet. It doesn't feel like yours. And so she pulled out all of these old home, you know, these home movies of our Christmas here at, in Bedford and put it in. And that, and that just brought the whole thing together for us and really made it feel like it was, it was, it was our video. It's a beautiful video. Love watching it. Love listening to the song. Rob, I got a fun question for you. Again, we mentioned in your new Christmas album, something about Christmas time. You have duets with Brad Paisley, B.B. Winans, all these great people. If you could sing a Christmas duet with anyone, past or present, who would it be and what would this song be? Okay, well, it would probably be Brad Paisley and B.B. <laughs> Winans. And no, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, listen, I think singing the Christmas waltz with Frank Sinatra probably yeah. wouldn't have been a bad idea. You know, something like that would be great. Love or to song. sing uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Me with Stevie Wonder. Oh, that would yeah. have been kind of amazing. Um, I mean, there's so much. Like when you start, if you start getting down the rabbit hole with me on Christmas movies and Christmas songs, it doesn't stop because one starts a memory for another, it starts a memory for another and another. And, and my wife and I, we, we can, you know, there's seven handfuls of Christmas movies that we quote all year long. Yeah, we're, we're the same way. Home Alone. I probably know every line, every scene. Um, <laughs> no, that's so neat, Rob. I, 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 I applaud you for this song, for this moment, the message that it is, the hope that it gives us. It's, it's a comfort song. It's a fun song. I love blasting it with my kids. They know all the words now too. So thank you for giving us this gift. Uh, before you leave, I got to ask you, because a lot of people are going to want me to ask you this. Are you going back on tour with Matchbox 20 anytime soon? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we've been kicking the, the tour. We were supposed to be out in 2020 and 2021. And so the, the plan is for next summer in 2022. Yes, good, good, good. So glad to hear it. And finally, we have some very exciting news to announce everybody. You're hearing it first. I'm thrilled to announce that Rob Thomas's song, Small Town Christmas, moving forward is the official theme song for our show, Small Town Christmas on Up TV. Doesn't that make sense? Can I hug you right now, Rob? Doesn't that, doesn't that, doesn't that make perfect sense? It it, I mean, it was between My Small Town Christmas and another artist had Big City Christmas, and that just didn't work. No, 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 no. It's a match made in heaven, truly. I mean, from the minute I heard it, and I just thank you. Uh, my publicist, Suzanne, reached out to your people. You always hear that story. Have my people call your people. It really did happen. And my sincere thanks to you and your team. This is- I'm, I'm, I'm amazed, you know, cause I want to tell you as well. I think what you're doing, showing, you know, a lot of people don't get a chance to travel around. A lot of people don't really get a chance to get that private glimpse inside of these people's lives and these people's, they, they're shared, uh, their, you know, festivities. And so I think it's amazing what you're doing. I think it's great that people get a chance to kind of see that. And it makes the world come a little bit more together every time you put on your show. So I appreciate that. And being a part of it is great. Thank you so much, Rob. From us to all of you, everybody, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Have a good one, Megan. You too, Rob. Take care.